We're here at the latest racetrack in India, the exciting new Coast High Performance Centre in Coimbatore. Now, the reason that we're here is for the annual Autocar Track Day. But we happen to have both these motorcycles for this year's Track Day, so we couldn't resist putting together a quick track comparison between these two machines. Why do we want to do that? Well, it's simple. These are the two most sporty, track-oriented machines that are currently manufactured in India. So far, the KTM has been the king of that segment. But we may just have a new challenger. Now, this is not going to be a story of comfort and practicality and things like that. Today, we just want to see one thing. Which one of them is faster around a racetrack? The odds are certainly in the Aprilia's favour. It has a 457cc parallel twin motor that not only makes a great sound, but also kicks out 47.6 horsepower and 43.5 Nm of torque. In comparison, the RC390 uses KTM's previous Gen 373cc single-cylinder engine that makes 43.5 horsepower and 38 Nm of torque. Both engines have a rev limit of a little over 10,000 RPM and both have 6-speed gearboxes. However, while the KTM comes with a bi-directional quickshifter as standard, Aprilia will sell you one as an accessory. It comes as no surprise that the bigger Aprilia engine, the more powerful engine, is the faster feeling bike here. But the bigger difference to me was how these two motorcycles deliver their power. Now the thing to understand is that the Coast Circuit is a really high-speed racetrack. It's designed with high downforce cars in mind. At 3.8 kilometers long, Coast is almost exactly the same length as the MMRT in Chennai. But this circuit has a much faster and more flowing layout, and high-performance vehicles will set much quicker lap times here. So with relatively small capacity motorcycles like these, you have to work the engines hard to keep the speeds up in the faster corners. Now with that in mind, the Aprilia engine is more about mid-range, strong torque and it doesn't really have too much zing at the very last 1000 RPM below the red line. The KTM engine is completely different. That thing punishes you if you drop below 6000 RPM in such a fast environment. You have to keep it in the right gear and you have to keep the revs up. The Aprilia in that sense is easier because you could hold a higher gear, use the torque and ride around some of these corners in a higher gear than you would on the KTM. Both take different approaches to the chassis as well. On the KTM, you have the trademark tubular steel trellis frame and a cast aluminium swing arm. The Aprilia, meanwhile, is the first locally manufactured motorcycle with a superbike-style aluminium perimeter frame, but it uses a steel swing arm. In terms of rider assists, both motorcycles have traction control and switchable ABS, but the Aprilia systems are a little more tunable and they're less intrusive when you're on track. There are quite a few differences here as well. For one, the KTM feels like the more roomy motorcycle. For tall riders, this is nicer. The handlebars are wider out. And in general, it's not a very committed riding position, but it is sporty enough. What stood out to me was that this bike felt more stable and a little more confidence-inspiring. It does take more effort to transition from one side to the other. But this racetrack is not fully ready yet. The curbs haven't yet been installed and there were some rough patches in a few corners. And through those rough patches, this motorcycle gave me a little bit more confidence. The reason for that is that the Aprilia is the sharper handling machine. It turns quicker, it takes less effort to turn, it's willing to drop to its side more quickly, and it is generally a more sporty feeling machine than the KTM by a small margin. Something else that's interesting is that even though it has this really big fuel tank, the bike actually feels a little more compact on the track. It's not too small for a tall rider, but it does feel a little small. While the Aprilia weighs slightly more than the KTM, it actually feels lighter and more agile on track. 
Some credit for that must come down to the excellent TVS Eurogrip Pro Torque Extreme tyres. Now the H-rated Metzeler M5 Sportex on the KTM are good, but these ones are better. As far as braking goes, neither bike is spectacularly good, but both are good enough. It is worth pointing out that the coast circuit doesn't have multiple repeated hard braking zones, so we didn't face the brake fade issues that we noticed when we first rode the Aprilia around the Curry Motor Speedway in Coimbatore. Now, it's one thing to talk about how these bikes feel on the racetrack, but the real answer comes in the form of lap times. And for that, we have someone who is way faster and way more talented than me to give you those numbers. That someone would be 11-time national champion Rajni Krishnan. Rajni is already very familiar with the KTM and it's a bike that he rates highly for the racetrack. But this was the first time he was riding the Aprilia and he was impressed. To cut a long story short, the Aprilia's lap time was 4.5 seconds quicker than the RC, which is a sizable difference. If you're wondering, it was also faster than the new Gen 390 Duke with the bigger 399cc engine. If you want to know more about what Rajni thought about how these bikes performed, check out our recent track day video that shares the full story. Nevertheless, it's a clear win for the Aprilia at the racetrack. Ultimately, while this motorcycle costs about 90,000 rupees more than the KTM RC390, it also happens to pack a much more premium feeling twin cylinder engine and a significant jump in performance. And it happens to make a great sound in the process. In fact, for some riders, the RS457's deep exhaust growl alone will be worth the extra money. So that's how these two motorcycles stack up. Now we haven't gone into many things like the aesthetics, you can make your own call on that. I do think that this is a great looking motorcycle, but bear in mind, Aprilia has given it to us without the mirrors, without the hugger, without the sari guard, and with this very cool looking tail section. So it does look even nicer than it normally does. But whether you like this one or that one is up to you. Ultimately, this bike is more expensive than the KTM, but it's still not that much more expensive. And if you want the ultimate track performance from a made-in-India machine at a somewhat reasonable price, this is the new king.